so welcome guys to my another tutorial guide today we're gonna take a look uh, at Irelia and how to play her so this is me currently um, this is my like first uh, ever account I just trans transferred from North to Guinness to West and I started to play a lot of Irelia as you can see like some loses here pretty much every single day he's been win here so I'm currently sitting at that uh, almost 70% queen rate um, so I'm gonna teach you how do you actually play Irelia and how to climb with her this is the first uh, room page that you will be using most of the times uh, you can change armor rooms to magic resist depends on the matchup you're playing so I'm running conqueror for that 12 stacks that gives you a bonus uh, every stack gives you a bonus AD and attack speed and it also scales it also scales pretty good uh, with your passive which is very important it's the key thing uh, on Irelia so triumph for uh, the true store HP when you kill somebody good for uh, tower diving and so on alacrity for attack speed uh, attack speed is quite uh, useful on Irelia so you want to be uh, running legend alacrity and last stand for, uh, for you to deal more damage to low to champions that are above your HP for the second uh, room page, you will go Inspiration, uh, Biscuit Delivery, and Time of Tonic. Time of Tonic for uh, Crafting Potion, which is your number one starting item, and Biscuit Delivery for, for HP and Mana. So, for your Summoner spells, you want to go Flash, which is the most OP thing in the conference. Ready. And the second thing is teleport. Just to get like nice flanks and it's great for our late game. So how you wanna max your abilities is like always Q first. Q first E second then when you hit level 6, hit 6 and double it. For your items, uh, it usually depends on who you're playing with. So, as always, if you play against Yumi, Soraka, Vladimir, and so on, the champions they heal a lot. You wanna go like second item or even first executioner's calling. But they usually what they go is first item blade of the rune king, very broken, still. Um, the next thing, if I'm playing against heavy AP champion that I know is going to get strong in the late game or mid game, I usually go with sand, which helps me with uh, burst and magic damage, and it also gives me a lot of attack speed and movement speed, of course. So next item I will go Trinity Force Land, name, and, nation. Long may they live. and depends on boots uh, if I'm playing like against Yone, also champions that deal uh, a lot of damage with auto attacks I will go Ninja Tabis but I usually go uh, Merc Trend because it gives you that 30% uh, tenacity and one other thing I forgot to mention so there's a guy who plays really a lot he goes actually uh, Black Cleaver, his name is Trovi, I think. He goes Black Cleaver with Trinity Force, or, or he doesn't even build Trinity Force, he goes straight Black Cleaver after Borg, or with Sand. So it depends on you which one you prefer. You usually go Black Cleaver when they have uh, stacking arm tips, so against yeah, Maokai. Nessus and so on. So next thing what I usually buy is Sterex Gauge or Death's Dance. I'm gonna get Sterex Gauge because I prefer Sterex Gauge. And the second thing is Guardian and the Pot, of course. Kill us all. 
so now let's check the combos what it can do and some nice tricks uh, so first things first let's just teleport um, for this location or not and if you're interested I also uploaded uh, four months ago a tutorial on Vladimir which was my main and still kinda is but uh, I achieved diamond with him so if you're interested you can check it out uh, now he's on a better PC so it will be much smoother so let's grab an enemy dummy here and let's start first with uh, our passive, which is quite interesting actually. Um, it's all in the footwork. So, if your abilities don't hit an enemy, you will not get uh, your stack, passive stack, which is very important actually because if you're fighting an enemy and you just press W to reduce your damage in auction, so you get the bonus back. stack. Another thing is, if you don't kill an enemy with your Q, you don't get reset. So, you get to watch out uh, for for your Q resets Never if you don't <coughs> miss your Q by Man accident or Q a wrong minion and your Q doesn't reset, it can, it can be bad, it can die. So, next thing, your R is, is kind of strange. It has a big hitbox, so basically it has hits. So you see this uh, icon? So this is basically this means that you can Q and get the reset of it. And also your root uses this and your E uses this and stuns your stuns. <clears throat> so next thing is uh, when placing your E I usually don't place it below me because it's very hard to actually hit the distance and it's it's much it's much uh, much faster if you queue behind the enemy so first thing you queue behind them and then queue back but if you know if you know if you are uh, you can also uh, eat them uh, from side if they're like running from uh, this angle down so <clears throat> the combos we here I'll show you us. first with uh, like 1v1 without best. minions then I'll show you with minions so what I usually do is press E and E back so it gets done W at the same time Q and then U Q so I can get all 5 stacks and Conquer. So this is uh, like pretty much straightforward. Uh, if you watch my other videos, you can actually uh, see from my gameplay how I do this. So again, faster. And you can you get another Q reset uh, after that. You can use it. So, okay. So this is pretty pretty much the standard combo. You can also use your with this combo over here, which is ultimate, two down, you get another 5 stacks on the passive, it gives you attack speed and a damage. So, so, so if I repeat, so this is pretty much it, and these are the like casual combos. Uh, now let's go to the Minion wave. I really four stacks, no and when you Q and press the E on the same minion, and after you Q to the minion, you press E behind the enemy, and they won't expect you. See, pretty fast. And you can easily kill them because you move faster, you have Still higher attack speed, damage, movement. and actually. When you hit this combo, uh, it's pretty much GG, you win um, the one you want match. So again, if we repeat, so I will go over quickly, so I'm gonna queue it on this minion, E instantly after I hit Q. See, I, carry a lot I missed this time, but 
pretty much instant. So this is another combo you can use. And another thing that people don't know on Irelia is that she is very, very agile. So if you're fighting with uh, an enemy here, and I don't know he's fighting you, and There's you press R. Okay, I just one shot the minions. So doesn't matter. You can Q uh, the minions. If you hit with your R, they get a bit uh, low on HP, so you can Q them, get the five stacks, hit your E on your enemy, and kill them. So if I go. So yeah, use your minions in your are great. Um, you can also see that on my uh, other uh, video. Uh, I will include this uh, application uh, in this video. So this is pretty much it. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, if you come uh, to my channel, you can actually see a lot of Irelia gameplay. And the guide that I told you earlier. So, if you're interested, make sure to check it out. Uh, and that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one. Do not know burden until you've seen a thousand people hanging on your every word. Watch it! Leave none alive! <laughs>